Good morning, my name is Tom Mann and I'm coming to you today from Ingram Micro's Experience Center by Cisco. I'm in front of Cisco's WebEx board here to show you a, a new solution from Cisco called Cisco XDR. Now let's take a closer look. All right, in today's hybrid multi-vendor, multi-vector universe, you know, we have a lot of different security concerns. First of all, everyone could be an insider. 30% of incidents involve stolen credentials or malicious insiders. And attacks can start from anywhere. You know, 19% uh, are due to compromise as a business partner, 45% in the cloud. I've had issues where I get notices that something's breached. I'm getting notified in the mail because not that my company I do business with was breached, but a partner of theirs was. It's very common. Alert fatigue is at the worst, it says here. You know, IT and SecOps have to deal with an overwhelming amount of complexity and too many alerts that they can't deal with them all. They're not prioritized properly. And then the attack surface is always expanding. Hybrid work is a major factor. You know, to address this, we really need to change how we're doing detection and response and need uh, new tools to make that happen. So Cisco XDR is really designed to simplify extended desktop and response. You know, in the center is a little screenshot. I'm going to be doing a demo in a few moments of it. Uh, but you can see on the left, you know, a variety of different telemetry can come in from a variety of sources. So we got email, endpoint, applications, identity. Cisco has actually solutions for all of these things. Those are all feeding Cisco XDR. So you'll see real-time information can automate based on it, but also see uh, data over time because this solution actually has cloud-based storage. They've taken another product called StealthWatch Cloud and retired that and integrated that into Cisco XDR. That product gives us observations and shows us incidents that it learns over time looking at your environment combined with the real-time information this is pulling in. Also, this integrates into third-party tools that you may have in your infrastructure already, uh, including uh, intelligence, existing SIMs and SOAR products, and other types of products. So this is really aimed at helping uh, security operations, security professionals, providing better, simplified, quicker response and security. So the shift really is to move to business outcomes or XDR-driven outcomes. So we want to be able to detect sooner uh, that uh, we're under attack, that there's an observable coming in, and that we want to do something about it. We want to be able to prioritize. That's the, one of the key features here. See the most important things first. Uh, you know, the things that are going to affect our company the most from a financial uh, standpoint that affect our business. In addition, we want to speed up that investigation. How quickly are we able to understand the full scope of the investigation and understand the attack factors? And then finally, accelerate the response. You know, confidently respond. Automate so it happens immediately. Uh, are we confident that we're getting better in the way we're handling these things? So Cisco XDR, you know, some of the two major use cases would be prioritizing incident response and then also on-demand threat hunting, uh, being able to find those attacks as they're happening or find compromised machines. Yeah, here's a little deeper knowledge or more information on the scope of really the integrations that we're talking about. So you see in the middle there, network, user and endpoint, cloud, application identity, and then all of those underneath are Cisco products that make up their solutions that give you an end-to-end -end security platform for Cisco to uh, control and protect everything. It's also integrated into Cisco Talos, uh, the, you know, Cisco's a security intelligence organization, and they have an incident response that's available too that's in the top tier of this product. I did mention third-party integration. You can
can see there's quite a bit on the screen here. Over on the upper left, there's cloud integrations. Uh, we have endpoint telemetry from a variety of third-party products, many that Cisco is considered uh, competitors, but we need to work with all these partners in order to get better XDR. Also on the lower left, looking at network telemetry, again, competitors of Cisco, that information coming in. And then also apps and email telemetry coming in from Office 365 and Proofpoint as an example. Now the solution comes in in three different tiers. You'll see this with most of their products these days. We have an essentials version, which is a full featured XDR, but that integrates into Cisco security products. The Advantage tier adds third-party integrations, uh, many of the ones that were on the previous screen. And then the Premier Edition takes the Advantage and then also gives you uh, managed detection and response. So this is managed by Cisco where they're more involved. In addition, Cisco Talos Incident Response and Cisco Technical Security Assessment, additional services that are, they offer, but they're all integrated in with the solution. Okay, on the screen now I have uh, Cisco XDR, and you can see I have some dashlets here uh, that are providing real-time information. Uh, so here I'm showing MITRE, MITRE attacks that are actually happening. Um, I come down here and I can see detection sources. So this gives me a quick view. I can expand these. These are links I can click on and get more information on. There's also a little control center over here. Uh, the control center is again showing me different dashlets. These all can be arranged. Uh, you know, I can change, maybe zoom this way and that will change, this, change the zoom a little bit. Um, you know, and we can see, uh, again, more real-time information, threat scores coming in. Here's compromise detections. These are endpoints that we're seeing that are compromised in the last 24 hours. Um, now, I could come over here and go to incidents. Incidents is going to be a key spot to go to find really important things that have happened. Uh, there have been 82 incidents. I could go look at those, look at more recent ones, or look at the current incident. Uh, let's click on this incident, and we get a short description of the incident here, of, about it, what assets were affected by it, and then uh, down here, different endpoints. We could look at the details of it. Now it's going to draw out a map uh, where we actually see endpoints and how they were connected, emails and how they're involved, domain names, um, and things like that. Here's, a, here's an endpoint that wasn't necessarily connected, but is related somehow. And you can click these and then dive in deeper uh, below, but also zoom in and out. Uh, if I come over to detections, uh, this is just about this particular incident um, and all the different detections that happen. Now, the reason it's happening multiple times, this is a demo environment, so they have it reoccurring, so we have something to look at. Uh, and then we could go look at response actions and add notes uh, and what we did to eradicate this particular issue. If we come back over to incidents one more time, we could go look at previous incidents, and now we see a larger list of incidents uh, and can uh, take a deeper look at them. Also options to deal with them right here. Uh, you could also go look at the intelligence itself that's generating the incidents. So there's judgments. Uh, there's going to be far more of these. These are individual observables that there's a judgment on. Uh, was it malicious? Was it not malicious? indicators or what the judgments are actually coming from. Uh, so if you want, you could dive in and see what these look like too. Uh, so there's a variety of different ways of looking at the data. Here's events that happened over time. Uh, there's also automation I built in, or that's built in. So in here, there's different workflows and runs that can be created so that if information telemetry is coming from one product, or maybe uh, something gets uh, a threshold met, uh, another product can be told to go do something to remediate or contain the situation. 
Now, I did mention a little while ago that StealthWatch Cloud, or recently it was called uh, Cloud uh, Malware Analytics, that's actually in the back end here and still exists, but now it's part of Cisco XDR. I have that opened over here, and there's a lot you could actually do in here. You could go investigate uh, and do different types of monitoring as it's part of the solution also. But it's not the main dashboard. I come back over to the main dashboard, and I could also go look at assets. So this is going to go look at telemetry coming from my endpoints. Uh, and this could be from multiple products. So in this case, you see Cisco Secure Endpoint is one of them. Sentinel One, CloudStrike, those are both competitors of Cisco. Uh, and then you have filters of how you might want to organize that managed and non-managed clients. Um, you know, which operating systems. Maybe I just want to look at Windows clients at the moment. And I see there's three here, and I can actually click it. So I'll click on this one called Slate. And this will bring, uh, bring up telemetry on that particular endpoint. In this case, the firewall is in poor state. It's disabled. And Windows Defender is disabled, but Cisco Secure Endpoint's on there, so that's good. But Windows, there is no firewall, so that might be a problem. Uh, we also see where this information came from. Secure Endpoint, Rocky System Manager, and Orbital, which comes with Cisco Secure Endpoint. Uh, down here, uh, one last area I wanted to look at is integrations. I mentioned that earlier. You know, this is showing right now all my integrations to this particular demo, and these are all different Cisco uh, products that are integrated. Um, you know, you can see there's many of them. There's email, quite a few here, and then there's third-party integrations. You know, you can see a, a wide variety of different products we can integrate in with. And that's really what I wanted to show you today, give you a, just an initial look at Cisco XDR. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, you can reach us at Ingram Micro at btc.ingrammicro.com if you'd like further information or is to provide a detailed demo. Have a great day.